giving the marching orders by Mr. President to ensure that the crude oil production, the daily crude oil production for the country is ramped up. Accordingly, a unified command was established in the Niger Delta area and the unified command ensured that all the security agencies were working together to achieve common, a common objective. I am pleased to inform you that since when that directive was given and the command was established, there has been significant increase in the nation's daily crude oil production. At the time that the instructions were given, at that time, the daily crude oil production was around 1.1, 1.2. But today, we are talking about 1.7, getting close to 1.8, and I can assure you that we will increasingly make progress as we get towards the end of the year. That is that about our operations in the Niger Delta region. Next, to your question about the proliferation of arms within our country and the allegation that some of those arms are from security forces. This is what I can tell you about. When we talk about proliferation of arms, first you have to look at what happened in Libya years ago, in the Sahel. Now, this gave opportunity for arms to get into wrong hands and then filtered into our country, which worsened the issue of insurgency and terrorism that we were faced with, faced with in the country. That is one. Two is from the test book. The test book tells you that part of the ways insurgents and terrorists get arms is to attack security forces and take arms from them. This is test book, meaning that it is proven all over the world. So if it has happened here in Nigeria, it is not a surprise, as we have seen that several of our troops have been ambushed or killed and their arms taken. But what we have done is that in every of such in instance, we have made the terrorists to pay a greater price than we have been forced to pay in such circumstances. Thank you very much. Let's go to the left.